120 estate fair is going on right now, and it brings together farmers and future farmers from all across the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The Kentucky Soybean Board is hoping that the state's largest stage will open doors for farmers to connect with larger cities. Joining me now is Webster County corn and soybean farmer Keith Tapp. Keith, great to have you here. Thank you very much. Appreciate and the opportunity. You having a great time at the State Fair so, so far? So far, so good. Yeah. The weather's great. Oh my Get gosh, the weather is an absolutely perfect. Right. How does the State Fair, being such a large stage, if you will, uh, to kind of put your product front and center, what do you hope that it allows you to do in the future and then others, other soybean farmers? Well, farmers are very passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. And the State Fair allows us the opportunity to show our friends in the urban areas mm -hmm. what we do and why we do what we do. Uh, this is an opportunity for our youth to demonstrate, uh, bring their products out that they've worked on maybe all year mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, exhibit those. There's contests there. Uh, but we like talking, you know, with adults as well as the children to just show them how important it is for a farmer to take care of his property, take care of his ground. Uh, we are sustainable because we do, you know, work with Mother Nature. Nature, we keep our environment safe. Uh, we to keep our livestock safe. We keep them comfortable, and that's the only way we can, you know, continue to, to grow. And speaking, when we're talking about soybeans, I have never seen kind of this crop take over Kentucky in such a way, right? Like it is everywhere and why has it become kind of the leading choice of farmers to get involved with what what are the different uses for it and and how is it kind of the future of farming well we do not have enough time to cover the future uses because there's something being there's developed tons, yeah the shoes i have on have soy in them there's yeah. probably paint the paint in this wall probably has soy mm -hmm. in it newspaper ink uh, one of our newest and uh, things we've come up with is a soy foam that's used in firefighter you know for firefighters yeah. and it will it's made from soy it is uh, safe for the environment safe safer for the firemen because it doesn't have those uh, forever chemicals in yeah. there that will go away it's one of those products that you you would think oh i've seen it grown in the fields it's just going to go to my table right it's being used in these manufacturing realms that I don't think anybody envisioned and, and from a completely all natural approach. It, it is and it is very, you know, it can be used for nutritional value yeah. for humans, but also uh, livestock. That's our number one customer. Mm. Uh, and that goes, to, that's a great source of protein yes. for them, uh, which we turn around and eat those, you know, those pork chops and those steaks and that poultry. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're real proud of what we do. Well, where can people find you at the State Fair so they can stop by and learn more? South Wing, okay. a, yes. And if they want to look at some of the products that we produce, eat some of the foods, the great foods that uh, the different commodity groups put out, there's a, a, a tent right outside of South Wing B, uh, Kentucky Proud yeah. uh, products. And you get your pork chops, you get your, your ribeyes, you get your, you know, your pork sandwiches, you just get anything that's produced here in Kentucky, and yeah. it's a real good well, you guys are doing work with the Kentucky Soy Board, and yes. so if people want more information, you're going to go to kysoy.org, correct? Correct. All right, thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're quite Appreciate welcome. Thank it. you for what okay, you do. To learn more, stop by and see them at the State Fair, try some of the products, and go to kysoy.org.